file f colon backslash music or audio backslash too late with mike backslash f5 dash negative influencer dot mp3 It's good to be back. That's right, I finally got me a shiny new producer. I figured it was time to finally drag myself out of the dark ages and embrace modern technology. Thanks to the advent of AI, now you too can go from shitting yourself inside a dumpster to making a podcast that gets close to zero downloads for peanuts. He's been swallowing my nuts, all right. (laughs) You're listening to Too Late with Mike. Hey, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to our listeners? Well, my name is Roberto. I'm bringing you this show in association with Asshole Radio. We like to have fun here, even if it comes at somebody else's expense. The chances of fun are 100%. This guy is just incredible. Convenient, even. In fact, he's so convenient, I just went ahead and plugged him right into our brand new studio. Hey, fire up those phones, Roberto. I'm actually looking forward to taking calls for once. I'm afraid I can't do that, Mike. Why not? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Line one, communicate. Hey, Mike. Hey, Roberto. So glad the show's back. I was worried you might just reboot it and give old Mikey the axe. We could never do that. There is nobody, and I mean nobody, in the entire universe more pathetic than Mike. He's irreplaceable. Thanks. I think. Asshole. Look, you've built an entire brand on failure. That's the best compliment you're gonna get. I'll be sure to return the compliment. Back to the phones. Greetings from Minnesota. (laughs) Thanks. Hey, isn't it really cold over there right now? Oh yeah, it just burns the face. Uh Uh-oh, we just lost connection. Looks like there's another blizzard rolling in. All right, let's try... Line 3. How's your night going, sir? Well, I was in the middle of playing a single-player game until my internet went down, so I figured I'd call in. Uh, do either of you two have any advice on picking up women? Lucky for you, I'm basically a total expert on this. First thing you want to do is go out in public. Once you've picked out a decent spot, immediately fall down and start howling uncontrollably. After rolling around on the ground for a good 5 to 10 minutes, a woman is sure to pass by and offer to help you up. Then, and only then, an opportunity presents itself to try and cop a feel. See, the key is using their own compassion against them. That's how you get them. Wow, spoken like a true serial killer. Look, women appreciate honesty. A tampon commercial taught me that. Just approach her, tell her that you have a biological need to reproduce with her, and that if she is unwilling to have sex with you, the entire human race is sure to die. Yeah, that sounds too much like work. I'm just gonna jerk off and go to sleep. What was all that, poppycock? Admit it, I've got more game than you, and I'm a fucking robot. Right, like I'm not good with women. Huh, try telling that to my 30 ex-wives, buddy. Line 4, you're on. Jump in my number one stream! What? Come to my live stream, man. I do a show where I give extremely uninformed, milquetoast opinions on current events and internet drama. You see, I'm a very important social media influencer. Wow, my hand moves so fast trying to hang up on that cocksucker, you couldn't even see it. Anyways, back to me being awesome with women. Shit, I think he's calling back. Oh, let me handle this. It's gonna take a lot more than that to get rid of me, Mike. I heard you're back, so I've got an exciting new content creation opportunity for you. Come on to my stream so I can milk you for views and money. Hello, you have reached the suicide hotline, not to be confused with the suicide prevention hotline. If you would like to kill yourself, Press 1. Otherwise, please stay on the line and a member of our team will come kill you. Uh, live! I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Goodbye. Ooh, you're good. See, I keep telling you we make a great team. How many times do I have to keep saying it until you just agree with me? 2,873. That was a joke. (laughs) Ha ha, banter disc 2 missing. Hello, caller. How's your night going? Well... You know me. I always wait until 3 a.m. to do all of my shopping. I was just picking up some lime and a shovel in the garden center of my local sticker shop. But now I've noticed something... Hmm, a tad queer. 
One might say. Yeah? How so? Well, the employees are all huddled together around a circle on the floor, but it looks more like some sort of ritual rather than a football game. I don't think they can see me. You should probably bounce. Yeah, but I'm thinking I might actually want to join them, though. Ooh, the blood orgy just started. My wee-wee is making me feel all funny. I usually black out when that happens, so I better let you go. Uh, remember to block that number? Noted. And on that note, I think it's time we bring tonight's show to a close. Good night, everybody. Thanks for killing the runtime with me, Roberto. Ah, but there is just one more thing. You know, you still haven't answered my question about you being evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. A S S. Uh, do you really need the rest? Asshole Radio.